Hey, 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 it's Sydney from Vertical Ledge. I'm so excited to be here with you today. We're gonna be dedicating the month of April of 2022 to booth layouts. So we're gonna start with a 10 by 10 booth, then we're going into a five by 10 booth, then we're gonna do a five by five, then we're going into like a deep dive into all of your questions. Um, so we're gonna be trying answering all the questions we can on the comments. So be sure to engage with us because we, I respond back to you, right? Um, anyway, my name is Sydney and from Vertical Ledge. I'm one of the founders here. Um, we're in our warehouse today in our studio. Check it out. We've got some really fun. Um, we built our own studio um, and made it like a dual functioning. <laughs> <laughs> like way too much functioning. It has like too many functions at this point. Um, but essentially it's our warehouse. Um, we're subletting some offices in the front that we didn't need yet. And um, we built out a studio in the back of the warehouse. So it's kind of like one of those things we list on Peer Space, but we use ourselves. We put in these super cool overhead lights and then we have a bunch of studio lights that we're able to play with. I hope you enjoyed today's episode of Wellness Wednesday. I really, um, just kind of played around with the stands that we have to offer. We definitely wanted to throw out the idea of beating a table um, to be successful at a booth or any kind of exhibition or pop-up. Um, when it comes to representing your brand well, you wanna make sure first and foremost that you get pieces that are functional for you and your business and what you sell, but also that you can create some kind of cohesion in the, in the the booth um so you're not having tons of other displays take away from the value that is being perceived by your customer um if you want more on perceived value we have so many great long format videos on our instagram that we're slowly slowly bringing it over here um it's hard to integrate at this point but i hope you enjoy um definitely like share comment and we'll see you back here next wednesday for our 10 by 5. Here you have a few different layouts with a table at the front of a 10 by 10 booth. Now, most people won't just opt to do a one table at the front of a 10 by 10 booth because that is expensive real estate um, that you're not allowing people to come into your booth for. But if this is your first market and you're really just testing the waters, then here are some really good display options. I played around with every SKU that we had that sits on a table. You can see there's lots of different options. Now, if Vertical Edge had its perfect ideal, we would do away with the table Table and bring in the cart one it's a statement piece two it's beautiful three we're gonna have a front cover so you can definitely cover up all those um, shelving storages at some space with your branded cover on there um, but you can also put just as many things on the cart um, as you could a table and have a lot more storage space alternatively you could add some floor panel units or pedestals or bistro tables there's a lot of different options there now, when you take a cart and flip it to the inside of the booth, and we just skipped an L-shaped layout and went straight to the U-shaped because it didn't really make sense just to do an L. And as you can see here, a U-shaped booth is really fun to play around with. We brought in the A-frame um, to the side and it definitely made this a much more robust booth with so much storage space. I wanted to chime in here on a 10 by 10 booth I don't think you realize how big of a space it truly is. Um, if I were to give a few pointers for a 10 by 10 booth, Toby's here too, he's our little corgi, he's almost, almost three years old, two and a half. And uh, so I wouldn't do a 10 by, I wouldn't pay for a 10 by 10 booth and just put a table up front, kind of how I showed before. What's great about that previous video is you can see like all the different things you can put on a table of that size. It's 53 inches in um, total length. Oh, he just wants all that attention. Toby, get down. Get down. Lay down. Stay. And um, I would probably say like a U shape is going to give you the best options unless you've got two open ends. Now, if you have two open ends, I don't really know how much it does good for you besides bringing traffic in. You're gonna lose a whole wall of space unless you've got like that bistro table like we do up there, which you can kind of showcase some products. Um, I definitely think um, a, three, a, a 10 by 10 booth calls for the biggest objects, calls for the most space. Um, here, you still feel like you have like a ton of room. Even as a customer coming into a booth of this size, you could even push this back another like six inches and you'd still have enough room for your stool back here. 
um, it can go back quite a bit. You could even angle it, push it into a corner, and then you could put another A-frame or another car, or you know, you could do a couple more insert panels and get you know this whole wall full, which would be incredible, right? Um, because then you got a whole wall. It literally becomes an entire store. Um, one of the questions we were asked was, how do I make my pop-up feel more like a retail location? Like, how do I make it feel professional? Well, it really does start with the fixtures. Um, your fixtures define the aesthetic and the feel that should match your branding. Um, on top of that, what displays do when you have such a big variety is you can put all of your stuff on there. You can display at different heights, at different levels. When you've got a wall like this, it blocks out your neighbor on the other side of you, which will inevitably like kind of normally come into your booth. So this gives you an entire space um, to define as your own. Similarly, with the A-frame units, um, you could get a couple of those on both sides, and then you've got maybe four or six, um, and that is gonna also allow your customer to feel like it's a very cohesive, branded experience with a lot of a lot of display options, a lot of things for them to look at, a lot of things for your customer to digest, but not too much because again, the displays are blending into the background. Um, that's what's great about why we've chosen to use the wood that we do. Um, and also while we're looking at alternatives, um, we're actually looking at doing the cart in a couple different other colors and then all of our material is actually gonna change by the end of this year. So. Uh, that's a little sneak preview for those of you that are watching the full video. Okay, so what we're going to do for the rest of this video is I'm going to style a 10 by 10 booth using as many pieces as I possibly can. Um, I have another A-frame up front. I just, it's already like set up with our shipping stuff, so I don't want to like take it apart and bring it up here, but we'll have more to like do the full setup of like all the A-frames. Like if you have all the A-frames, what it look like and all the inserts and what would that look like. Um, so there's that, but I'm gonna bring in a bunch of different um, floor units. I'm gonna bring in a bunch of bistro tables. I'm gonna bring in stuff on the cart. Um, I'm gonna bring another table in here if you wanted to see like the table just adds like this heaviness and this depth to that I think is critical um, when using your vertical height instead of your horizontal height. Everybody focuses on like, oh, how much stuff can I get on this table? Well, what if you invested in a piece that got you a lot more vertical um, and, and it was actually beautiful and it actually elevated your products? One that could like say that it actually helped your sales, right? Um, catches attention from across the room. Um, so I'm really excited to kind of show you the rest of the booth layout and to see kind of you know, how that looks. So here we have moving the cart in exchange for the table and I really just wanted to puke. This was a really bad decision. I didn't like that table in there. It definitely was crowding the space way too much and the depth was way too heavy. So I definitely encourage, if you can get rid of your table, that's my biggest takeaway from a 10 by 10. It's unnecessary with all the display options you have available. Okay, so that wraps up today's Wellness Wednesday. It's a segment we do on Vertical Ledge, and it just, it's such an honor to serve the community that we do. Um, you guys are creators and crafters and artists and just masters at small business and what that means. And it's such an honor to be a part of a small business community that we've kind of cultivated and grew over the last few years. One of the reasons why we're switching over to YouTube is so we can get way more community but also there's nobody doing these types of videos on youtube right now which makes me think that maybe it's needed or maybe it's not if it is definitely like comment and share um if not just pass us along <laughs> it's been a pleasure you guys i can't wait to see you next wednesday be sure to leave your questions and i will get to them at the very end of this April segment. I'm super excited for that last one. It's going to be a deep dive. I'm already prepping all the questions. I've screenshotted them all. I put them in a document and I'm answering them um, as it comes up to each particular booth. So check it out. Here's some funny behind the scenes. Check out these wonky 
behind the scenes. So our warehouse is usually pretty dirty and I won't lie, it's usually a disaster unless we have a rental. Um, that's mainly because this is too functional of a space. You can rent this area for events, you can close the blinds, um, and we just had a huge spring launch so like there's stuff just everywhere. And I don't really feel like cleaning up and it's our space so I don't really have to. Um, you know, small business ownership excuses. Anyway, we built that wall. It's pretty cool.